I think Father's Day is a great holiday. While it doesn't always get the same publicity as Mother's Day. I mean, don't make a huge deal about it. It's a kind of a big weekend long celebration. We usually celebrate by having a barbecue. No matter how you choose to celebrate Father's Day, those who do seem to have one common stressor. Do you find it difficult to shop for Father's Day? Very difficult, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. He's very difficult. The most common Father's Day gift is a necktie. Lawn mower stuff, barbecues, ties. Other popular choices for the 70 point million dads in the U.S. are cards and special outings. Books are good for the grandparents, but I don't know what to buy my dad ever. For those who are saying, oh, dads are so hard to shop for, what's your advice? Um, just think about what your dad likes. Take your dad to a sporting event. Just spend time with him. Turns out Father's Day is also a bit of a pricey holiday. According to the National Retail Federation, people are expected to spend an average of $189 this Father's Day. That's on gifts and celebrations. However, people between the ages of 25 and 34, they're expected to spend an average of $275. What do you think of that? That's a lot. That's a bit high for me. I do find it surprising. I guess I could see that. You know, depends on, you know, how your financial situation is. I would probably spend no more than 50. 50 to 70. I mean, that's splurging. More meaningful stuff and that doesn't necessarily cost that much. Mm -hmm. Or I'll just do things that are more meaning meaningful. Gift choice and money spent aside, most dads will tell you all of that doesn't really matter. I don't remember what a favorite gift was. There's no reason to stress about what you buy the father figure you love because... Really just... I think he really loves just to be with us. It was bought with the heart, and so you, you enjoyed with what you got. Ties will fade, shoes you'll lose or whatever, but those memories, they stay in your head forever. In Southfield, Sarah Michaels, 7 News, Detroit.